guys, if you really want to learn a little bit more or you want to actually try questions and problems more uh, applications or real life problems rather than theory, just go and check out my webpage. You will find there under the courses of reactor engineering, how to solve problems section, go to section chapter 10 or block reactor engineering 10. You will find the stuff about catalysis and catalytic reactors. I think it's very important to you, especially to know the theory, but also to be able to solve problems. So go there, you'll find a little bit, not that many problems because this is more a theoretical concept chapter, but I think nevertheless you should try it. Go and check out more info, of course, at my webpage, get those courses. Like my Facebook page, you will probably like it. I have a lot of uh, information on engineering, daily engineering, actually stuff that is, I think is interesting for engineers, even though it might not be directly related to that. Or you have any doubt, any comment, any suggestion, or anything you want me to know, you can send it to my mail, which is contact at chemicalengineeringguy.com. And least but not uh, last but not least, textbook and references. We've seen this book, which is awesome. It's actually the book that we are basing our course on. This one is also great. It's okay. I will give it four out of five. I will give this one five out of five. And this I haven't tried that much, but I read it and I think it's between three or four stars out of five. Probably if I finish reading, I will give it a higher or lower uh, great but I don't know right now so yeah why not try it if you have time money or patience to read this book please check it out once again we saw chapter number 10 which is essentially catalysis and catalyst processes and reactors elements of chemical reaction engineering by H. Scott Fogler fourth edition and that's everything guys see you in the other courses What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.